Hello everyone, do you want to use images to tell a story or customize the inserted images you have in your video? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you how to edit images with Filmora 9 Video Editor. Firstly, let's check how to import images to the video. After you've opened up the program, you can simply click on the Import Media Files Here button, or you can drag and drop them from your computer. So I'll go ahead and load up my images here, and now we can begin to edit them. Another cool thing you can do is if you have a video inside of here, you can go to a spot where you want to grab a still image from it, and then you can simply click on the snapshot button, and this is going to save a still from that frame. So let's go ahead and drag in a couple of these images into the timeline and begin editing our images. 1. Change image duration. To change the duration of an image on the timeline, simply move the cursor to the beginning or end until you see this cursor here, this pointer, and now we can just move it forward or backwards. It's going to tell you how much you're adding or reducing and how long the duration is. So I can increase the duration to say about 10 seconds, and then if with this one I can make it longer as well, and then move them back together. 2. Apply motion effects. You can apply motion effects to your images to make them look more animated. To do so, all you need to do is make sure you have your footage in the timeline and double click on the footage you want to add motion to. Now we can go to the top and go to the Motion tab, which has all of these cool motion presets. So you can see we have tons to choose from. If you want, you can just preview over them and it's going to show you what they're going to look like. So once we find one we want, we can simply double click on it to apply. And now on our actual footage, we have our transition applied and our motion. So just click on OK to confirm that. And if at any point you decide I don't want to use this anymore, you can simply right click on your footage and select delete effect. Three, adjust image. To adjust your image, we need to first double click on it like before. And this time we're going to make sure we're inside the color tab. Inside of here we have tons of image adjustment features we can use. To start, we have a color selector for our color balance, so if we select a white area, our frame is going to be accurate. We can also manually adjust the color temperature and make it colder or warmer. We can also adjust the green or pink tint. And then down below we have the tone options, where we can increase or decrease the contrast, and as well as the brightness and saturation, and this will allow us to create some nice looks. And then lastly, we have a 3D lookup table option, which you can load up lookup tables from popular films or TV shows, as well as load your own. So I can select one of them, and it should apply a nice filter. And then of course, at any time, you can also uncheck any of these to see what they look like before and after. And then once you're happy, just click on OK to save those changes. And when you're all finished, go ahead and click on Export, and we can begin to export our video. Once the export window has loaded up, we have many options of what we can do. We can select a specific format to export to, as well as go in and change our name to whatever we want it to be. We can also change the location on our computer to save it to, and go into the resolution and other settings to make this look as we want to. We can adjust things like the resolution, frame rate, bit rate, and also audio options as well. You can also check out the other tabs like device, YouTube, and Vimeo to burn things to specific devices or websites. Once you're happy with all of the settings, go ahead and click on export to begin exporting your video. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and learned how to edit images with Filmora 9 Video Editor. If you're interested in this video editor, you can download it easily from the website. For more editing tips, please search iSkySoft on Google.